Listening Unit 1 Identifying Differences Exercise A until Exercise F You can refer your textbook, page 10 Exercise A In this unit, we are focusing on the answering multiple questions and identifying differences in the pictures Look carefully at the pictures below. What can you see in each one? For example, question number one, A. It is a violin. Picture one B is a television. Picture one C is a bicycle. Now, we move to picture two. Picture two A, picture two B, and picture two C. Picture 2A A supermarket B. Car park C. Library Picture 3A Picture 3B and Picture 3C Picture 3A is an old woman 3B. Middle-aged woman and the last one is a picture of middle-aged men. Exercise B. Look at the pictures in A again and match them to these questions. Now, you answer question number one. Where did the woman meet her cousin? Question number two. Who does the man's needs take after? The last question. How does the man's daughter spend her free time? The man met her cousin. Okay, it's referred to picture two. Who does the man's needs stick after? We are referring to the person and the answer should be in 3. How does the man's daughter spend her free time? The answer should refer to all pictures in picture A. Exercise B. Now, listen to the three conversations and circle the correct answers A, B or C in task B. Listening, Unit 1, page 10, C. 1. Where did the woman meet her cousin? Did you remember to go to the library yesterday? I did, but I was late because I saw my cousin before I got there. Yes, she told me. She said she met you in the car park on her way to the supermarket. That's right. Of course, she had to show me her new car. 2. Who does the man's niece take after? So you finally met your niece yesterday. Who does she take after? Well, she doesn't look like her dad at all. I suppose she does look a bit like her mother. But overall, I think she looks most like her grandmother. 3. How does the man's daughter spend her free time? I think my daughter should spend a bit more time outside. She could be riding her bicycle or something. Well, at least she's doing something creative. Practicing the violin is much better than just sitting watching TV. You're right, but sometimes I want a little peace and quiet. Now, you answer question number one. Where did the woman meet her cousins? The answer is in picture 2B, in a car park. Question number 2. Who does the man's niece take after? It is grandmother. How does the man's daughter spend her free time? Playing violin.
Exercise D. Read the exam close up. Then read the exam task below and study the pictures carefully. Write notes about the differences, similarities, or connections between them. Identifying references. Before you listen, read the question for each set of pictures first and underline any keywords. Then, look at the pictures carefully and make sure you understand them. It's important to identify the differences between them before you listen. Now, you refer to the question in the exam task. There are six questions. Listening, Unit 1, page 10, E. There are six questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Circle the correct picture, A, B or C. 1. Which girl is her sister? Here they come now. Is your sister the one with the short hair? No, my sister's got long, straight hair. Is she wearing shorts? Yes. That's her. 2. Who are the neighbours' children? Have you seen the new neighbours yet? Not to speak to, but I saw them arrive in their car yesterday. Did you say they've got twin girls, or is it twin boys they've got? Neither. They've got a boy and a girl. 3. What time will the boy leave? What time do we need to leave to collect Dad from the station? Well, his train is arriving at 2.30 and it takes about 40 minutes to drive there, so you should leave at about 1.50. Oh, I thought we were leaving just after two. But you're right, we should give ourselves more time to make sure we're not late. 4. Where does Sophie and her family live now? My cousin Sophie and her family are going to move to London. Oh, really? I thought they liked Brighton. They seem very happy here. Do they come from London then? No, they're from Oxford originally. 5. When will they have their picnic? Do you want to come for a picnic in the park this Saturday? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to see my grandparents. They live a long way away and we're travelling up on Friday. We could go on Sunday though. OK. I'll ask Mum to get some things at the market on Saturday morning. That's great. Thanks. Six. What did the boy think of his friend's father? I'm a bit scared of your father. He looks very serious. Oh, don't worry. That's just because you haven't met him before. So he's not always like that? Not at all. He's actually very friendly and relaxed. Now, please click the link in the description to submit your answers. See you in the next lesson.